In today's video, I am going to tell you what is an elastic IP address, why we need it and how to get one. Till now we have saw how to create an instance in EC2 and we also saw your instance has one private IP address and one public IP address. Instance private address will never change during the lifetime of that instance. However, public IP address or secondary IP address changes every time you stop or start the instance. You can see here, this instance is stopped, therefore it does not have any public IP address. The second instance is running and it do have IP address. Now I am going to stop and start the instance. And see, public IP address is changed and unfortunately a public IP address is how the internet identifies your instance. If you deploy a website on your instance then you can access that website by public IP address. So you may give your IP address to your friends so they can visit your website. Or you saved your public IP address in putty SSH client. FTP client and most important if you purchase a domain name to alias your IP then you need to configure your domain with public IP address and when your system requires restart or you need to stop your instance for some reason your public IP address get changed and you had already given that address to friends even attached to domain name and when you hit that IP address or domain name, you get an error. This site can't be reached. So solution for this is, you need some static IP address. Instead of this dynamically changed public IP address, elastic IP address will serve your purpose. It gives a static IP address, which we can assign to our instance. And this static IP address you can provide to your domain name provider. Now let's see how to get static IP address. Before that make sure you have subscribed my channel and hit the bell icon. Now let's find elastic IP address in side menu. Click on elastic IP. Currently I do not have any elastic address. So I will click on allocate elastic IP address button. And let the default option remain selected. I will click on allocate button. New elastic IP address allocated successfully which is ending with mm, something 65 and now I will assign this address to my instance. My instance name is demo instance and it has public IP address something ending with 172. To assign, I will click on action, then associate IP address. The wizard will open to associate IP address. Select your instance. My instance name is demo instance and I will select its private IP address. Reassociation. Allow this elastic IP address to be reassociated. Means if your elastic IP address is already associated with some other instance and you want to remove that association then assign to new instance then click on this checkbox mm, this is something warning kind of thing currently my elastic ip address is not already associated with any other instance it is fresh so i will not check this box and click here elastic ip address is associated successfully now I'll go to the instance tab and check the elastic IP address of my instance. This is elastic IP address. I click on this and open it. I'll copy the IP address and let's check our instance is open or not. So this is the Django's web application. I have already deployed this on the instance. And see, we can access the instance with this elastic IP address. 
By the way, if you want to know how to deploy Django application in server, then please check out my videos. Link is given in the description. Okay, now we are back to our EC2 dashboard. It takes while to update the public IP address. I will stop and start the instance and check elastic and public IP address both. And see the public IP address is now updated. It is same as elastic IP address. It won't change now even if you restart your server. Still you can see the public IP address is associated to the instance. Now I want to delete the elastic IP address. So for that first I need to disassociate the address. And now I'll go to the instance and check. Uh, there is no more elastic IP address here. And, and it will take some time to reflect change in public IP address. Now I am releasing my IP address by clicking on release. The elastic IP address has released now. Let me stop the instance. See, the IP address has released and went back to original IP address. Let me start the instance and we have got new IP address. Elastic IP addresses are totally free as long as they are being used by an instance. However, Amazon will charge you some amount for each elastic IP address that you reserved but do not use. So it will charge you for spare IP address. But they are in use, then it won't charge you. You will be charged only if you ever remap IP address more than 100 times in a month. So before using elastic IP address, read policies so you won't get charged. So in the next video, we'll see how to create IAM user and give them permission.